Welcome back to Real Estate 101. Today we're going to continue our discussion on home renovations and talk a little bit about the residential construction design and planning process. And I'm pleased to be joined once again by Daniel Ott of White Willow Design. Dan, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Joe. All right, Dan. So what is the first step when you meet with homeowners um, when you're about to start a project? Well, the first thing is to discuss what kind of project they're actually looking for. And that will lead into how many details are going to be involved in planning this project and how many details they're comfortable with taking care of themselves. Okay, so what sorts of details are involved in the design process? Well, we've got all the design details of the structural elements, um, the architectural details, the interior designs, the material selections, and then we get into uh, contractor negotiations, um, any of the uh, all the city permits and all the processes involved with that, and then any um, unforeseen uh, difficulties throughout the construction project itself. Okay, so you mentioned structural. What sorts of details are you looking for on that? Well, if we're building a new home or we're putting an addition on, then we're talking about the floor systems, the foundation systems, uh, the roof systems. Uh, in a renovation, we might be taking out a bearing wall and replacing it with a beam or recreating new openings, doors, windows in, mm -hmm. in other walls that are there. Okay. Um, and what about the interior designing of the space? So interior design actually covers a whole spectrum of different um, professions. Right. So we talk about the overall layouts of um, the rooms, how big they are, the shapes of them. And then we talk about the specific layouts within those rooms. So how the kitchen's laid out, how the bathroom's lay out, where the plumbing fixtures are going. And then we talk about material selections for both inside and outside. Uh, your flooring, the countertop, the siding that's going outside, the shingles on the roof, the color of the wall and the type of moldings that are going in. Okay. And what types of materials are we talking about? Uh, all kinds of types, but I mean, the number of them is like, 50 for an interior main level renovation. And if we add the second level or the outside, we're adding more and more uh, details upon details and they all have to mesh together. So sometimes, for instance, I have a client um, doesn't quite like the countertop that we've ended up with. So we switch the countertop and that might mean changing six other materials or colors throughout the project to make it all mesh together. So every change can result in six more changes. All right. So you touched on uh, additions. That's usually when you're pulling permits. Yeah, and even for um, taking out a bearing wall, you should pull out a permit. Uh, the details involved in that are so immense that we need a whole other episode to talk about it. But quickly capping it, um, people think building permits. But that's only the end process in all of this. And there's so many other um, loops and hoops you have to jump through within the municipalities or even with, say, Niagara Escarpment Commission in order to get to that building permit stage. All right. So what happens when home sellers are adamant that they want to use their own contractors? Can you help them uh, facilitating that and negotiating with them? Absolutely. Um, if they bring their own in, or even if I suggest a few and they suggest a few, I will offer the service to come and compare what those contracts say, because the lingo of a contractor may be very different from what the, con um, the homeowner is understanding about what they've been saying. So I'll help them go through and not maybe give them an idea of which one to go with, because that ultimately should be their decision, Right. but to just help them understand what each contract actually includes. Are we comparing apples to apples, or is um, do we have to make some changes within them in order to compare apples to apples instead of to oranges? And then are they comfortable with the contractor as well is the most important thing that I tell them. Um, but then we also want to continue the contractor negotiations um, throughout the construction process. So once they've decided upon a contractor and hired him, um, throughout the process, we'll come back and make sure that they're building according to what we originally designed and what the homeowner actually right. wants. Or I'll help um, come up with solutions for unforeseen difficulties that are behind the walls. Because no matter how much planning you go into it, there's always some walls that you just can't see behind until they've taken the plaster off. Of. Okay, Dan. So how does White Willow Design make all of this easier for the client? We handle everything, all of it. The client does not have to worry about 
anything throughout the project. As far as the planning is concerned, we can handle it all. And as far as I know, we're one of the very few companies in Ontario that actually does all of this. Now you can get all of this done, but you may have to hire three or four different companies in order to facilitate it all. So when we're done, we put everything together in what we call the contractor instruction manual. And this particular one is about a 40-page uh, document of everything that's needed to put this renovation or addition or new home together. Uh, we start with um, little blurbs about the discussions we've had with the, con with the client so the contractor understands the history behind this because we might have been dealing with them for a year before the contractor gets involved. Right. We've got layouts of what was existing, what's changing. This is accompanied by the official um, large print construction drawings, of course. Uh, and, and then we have all the details of what materials are going in. So all that stuff we talked about before, it's, it's all laid out in here. Pages and pages of it, what faucets being used, what sinks being used, what color goes on what wall, and it's divided room by room. So when the contractor gets a copy of this, he can rip each page out for each room, tape it to the wall of that room, and every subcontractor that comes in knows exactly what's going on inside of that room. They go to the next room, they know exactly what's going on in there. And it just helps everything tremendously. Okay, so how can clients be sure that what you're suggesting to them is actually what they want? Well, two things about that. First, everything that we do is in 3D. So um, if they pick the color package, then that 3D is virtual photos of the finished product well before it's ever been built. Um, but on top of that, it's a very collaborative experience with the client. There's a lot of designers out there that um, clients can hire and they'll come up with their own ideas and they might be great, but it might not be what the client wants. Um, we've developed a very collaborative um, experience. Um, we make this a fun experience for the clients to design this renovation or new home. Right. And we have lots of meetings with them throughout the process. And if there's not, if there's something that they just don't quite like, then we'll work to change that to make it to something that they do like, as long as it's actually physically possible. So how does this benefit them? It's like an insurance policy, really. Um, think about if you've built something and you go, huh, it's just not quite right. It's so much more expensive to change it at that point than when it's on the screen. We can, we can virtually delete walls, um, add walls, move cabinets around, come up with a whole different kitchen layout uh, before anything's actually built, and people can tell, yeah, that is what I want. I do like that. So there's got to be reasons why you approach it this way. Um, I used to work in the world of commercial, and, and there's a lot of um, similarities to what I do to what's in the commercial world. Um, in the commercial world, they come up with a whole um, package to bid on, and in the residential world, it's, it's often been, well, let's just call a contractor. We'll see what his ideas are. We'll call another contractor and see what his ideas are. Right. And then we'll design it as we go. But you never really know what you're going to be getting until you're done. All right. uh, the other thing is just working in the industry for years, I noticed so many gaps in the marketplace. And I couldn't fill those as a contractor. I used to be one. And so I started this, other, this new company, White Willow Design, so that we could fill those gaps, so that we can help clients. We partner with the clients and help them um, to make their dreams a reality in a way that actually makes sense. All right, Dan. So for people that are watching our show and listening that are about to embark on a large project like this, um, do you have any advice for them? Absolutely, Joe. I've, I've run into people before that I met after they were done a renovation project, so I didn't have a chance to help them on it. And they've told me that Dealing with all those little details is like having a full-time job for like four months. Yeah. Um, I don't know about you, but I couldn't afford to take four months off of work in order to figure out the details of something I thought someone else was taking care of to start right. with. Uh, people need to hire professionals to deal with these details. We don't have to help with all of them, and there are many professionals out there to help with it, but let us alleviate some of that stress off of you so you can actually enjoy the work that you're meant to do. And we'd be more than happy to help out these people. All right, so how can people get in touch? They can fill out a contact form on our website, whitewillowdesign.ca, or they can call me directly, 905-220-9419. Dan, great stuff. Thanks for coming on today's show. Looking forward to seeing you again sometime down the road. Thanks, Joe. All right, so if you're about to embark on a large construction project and need the help of a top home designer for the design and planning process, get in contact with Daniel Ott of White Willow Design. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment, like, and share our videos. I'm Joe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.